Alright guys, welcome to a new tutorial, well, part B of uh, using PSP8. Uh, as you can see, the image is already colored. It's uh, where I left off. It's a different image, but, you know, the color's there. Um, next step I would do is add texture after I color. Um, to add texture, I'm going to go ahead, before I do anything, is copy my image. So I went ahead and right-clicked on the background. I did duplicate. It gave me a copy of the background, which is the same image as you can see same image on both so anyways next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and um, go up into effects which is the very top on the uh, tool menu we are going to choose plugins go into Luce's art let me find that real quick Luce's art uh, now below there we go uh, Luce's art mm -hmm. and we're gonna go ahead and choose uh, whichever dot best describes, uh, not best describes, but best fits their image. I do like using the fourth or the fifth dot at either 40 to 20 percent, uh, depending on how much texture I want on it. This one looks good at 20, so I'm going to use 20. Here's before and after. Once you see the difference, you like it, go ahead and click the check mark to approve and apply. Uh, once you have that, as you can see, this is before and after. Just so you can see the difference, there is some texture in it. Um, we're going to go ahead and duplicate that. You know, again, right click, duplicate the image. So now you have a copy of a copy of the background. <laughs> and uh, now that you have that, we're going to go ahead and go to our tool editor, choose Soften. That's Soften Brush. As you can see, um, I do want to use the opacity of a hundred percent because I'm more comfortable with that that means that it'll uh, soften as much as I want the size it really is up to you get in the creases you might have to resize the brush hardness I do like 50 or less and that just means that the uh, the edges of the brush are not so rough so as you can see it's a very soft uh, move when you're using PSP 8 if you right click using the soft uh, tool it does sharpen like for example I'm gonna go over one of the dots here oops right click and I'll resharpen that again uh, maybe not as good as the original but you could also use that right click to sharpen some of the hair sharpen the eyes give it that extra sparkle maybe the blouse the lips whatever you want to do uh, so once I have softened everything I'm going to go ahead and do some more touch-ups and when I do work on touch-ups remember I do like to work in layers just in case um, I have to undo something I'll just get rid of that layer instead of undoing everything so as you can see here I am going to merge everything once I've done that uh, I will duplicate before I do any of the changes so go back in there duplicate uh, if you have to do some more soften, go ahead do the softening. If you have to do more sharpening, go ahead, go ahead and do the more sharpening. Um, after it's softened, of course, like I said, I will be going back to the editor tools. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, add more depth to this image. So I'm going to use my uh, burn tool, which should be uh, down there. Yeah, there we go, burn. What I'm going to do with that is I'm going to go ahead and darken her eyeliner. Uh, maybe right-click it, it'll do the opposite on the eye, the white of the eye, to bind that up some. I can go over the little dots just to make sure that they're darker. Uh, the edges of the hair, the uh, around the lip for the lip liner, uh, around the jawline, the chin, just to give it depth. You know, it will darken anything you go over. Um, edges of the blouse, uh, strands of the hair, it gives it some great depth so uh, go ahead play with that of course um, to your liking you don't have to do this but this is just you know a touch of for me uh, so anyways if y'all have any questions about anything I've done make sure you contact me you could uh, uh, contact me through uh, email at tabbycorrales.com I mean yeah, well, you could go to my website, tavicarales.com, do with the shout box, or aviinc.com and do the shout box there. Thank you. Stay tuned.